Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new AI ID called Kiro, which is actually built by Amazon. It is mostly designed as your ballpark AI ID, like Cursor or Windsurf, but with a nicer and slightly more soothing interface, similar to something like Trey. It is also a fork of VS Code, if you were wondering about that. Anyway, it also tries to do some things differently as well. For example, you obviously get the vibe coding capabilities, where you can ask the agent to do something, and it will use those tools to get things done. But it also has another mode called code with spec. It's almost like the planning mode of Klein or RuCode, where you can ask it to plan the implementation first, like the tasks to do or system design and then it will create a markdown file and use that as a reference point to implement the stuff, which is quite good. It also shows you a graphical view of which tasks are done from the requirements and things like that. Another thing that it does differently is hooks. Hooks are basically a way to create an AI agent and automatically trigger it at a specific change or time. So, for example, you can have a documentation agent where you can ask it to write documentation for you, and you can get it triggered in multiple ways, like when a file is created and so on. Then it will just update the documentation for you, which is a really good option if you ask me. It obviously comes built in with all kinds of autocomplete, inline assist, and of course, the agentic features built in. It is currently fully free to use because it's in preview and you just need to sign in and that's all. But they will be adding some pricing in the future, which you can see on the pricing page. As you can see, it says that the pricing is coming soon, but for now, it's fully free without any specific limits. And it uses Claude for Sonnet, which is awesome to get for free. Anyway. Just download it and get it installed. It will give you the option to sign in. Just sign in, and then you can import your VS Code config as well as select the theme that you want to use. Once done, it will get started, and this is what it looks like. I have opened a blank folder here, and you can see that instead of the default blank screen, it opens up this interface. Here, you can select between the Vibe Coding option and the Specs option. I'll come to this, but on the left, you can also see the general VS Code things like extensions, source control, and so on. You can also install Klein, RuCode, Kilo Code, and similar tools in it as well if you want to do that. But there's also the Kiro option that gives you options to configure everything about it in one place. You can generate specs here as well, and you can also create agent hooks here, as well as agent steering documents. Agent steering is basically rules, and you can configure it to do things in a specific manner, or something like that. You can also configure MCP servers through here as well, which is awesome. To be honest, I really like this config option because I don't have to dig around in advanced settings to find the MCP option or anything, whereas here you can easily configure it. Anyway, you also get the autocomplete and inline assist options as well. If you go over to a new file, then you'll see those options too, which is also good. Now, let's try to use it as well. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. 
you get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-40, Gemini, and a ton of others' models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. Let's start with the Vibe Coding option. I'm going to give it the Kingbench app, and I'm going to ask it a trademark question at this point. To add a theme toggle for light and dark themes, and make it work accordingly, it gives you the option to use 3.7 and 4 Sonnet. You can choose between them, and then just get it started. There's also the autopilot option that doesn't ask for your approval. In a bit, it gets started, and it's quite similar to most of the coders that you've seen before. You can also follow the changes and so on as well. In a bit, it gets done, and you can see that it did this quite well. It is quite good at coding. I mean, at this point, most of the coders are quite good, and since it uses Sonnet in the background, it doesn't have many issues. Also, the Sonnet here is much more original, without any context limitations or restrictions that you get in most AI editors in order to manage their pricing. It makes sense because Amazon owns a good chunk of Anthropic, and they host Anthropic's models as well, which means they can manage the pricing much more easily without artificial changes. Anyway, there's also the option of spec. Let me show you how that works as well. You can just go here and then ask it to implement something. So, for example, I can ask it to implement a proper database for this. And what you'll see is that it will go ahead and plan the changes first. It will create a plans file for it, and then you can see the changes that it wants to implement. You can change something in it, and then you can easily get this implemented. So, this is also cool. Now, there's also another thing called hooks. For hooks, you can go to the Kiro option in the sidebar, and then hit Add New in the Hook section, and it will open up this Create New Hook option. You can just enter what you want the hook to do in natural language, and it will set that up for you. You can also change it yourself manually and set it accordingly if you want to do that, which is pretty amazing. These are the major options here. You can set up MCPs and everything as well. I really like it and was quite excited to use this because it is honestly quite awesome. Like, really awesome. I found the UI to be extremely good. It's not very daunting, and the hooks and planning options are also pretty good. It basically has a built-in Taskmaster-like feature, and for now, it's fully free as well, which is pretty awesome. I found it amazingly good for a first iteration, and if they can manage the pricing and performance well, considering that they have quite a bit of access to Anthropic's model and they host it themselves, then I think this may come out to be a good option, like Cursor or similar tools. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.